Hey everybody, now let's do some Punnett squares. When I do a Punnett square, the first thing I always do is I write out exactly what each allele codes for. So for example, what I've chosen to do today is eye color. So a big B, big B stands for brown eyes and a little b stands for blue eyes. Let's try an example with homozygous dominant and a homozygous recessive. So I said homozygous, which means it should be the same letter, and dominant, so they should be capital letters. So we're going to have a big B, big B, and a homozygous recessive, which is going to be little b, little b. Now, this is the genotype, big B, big B. The phenotype for this should be brown eyes because it has a capital letter there. Our little b, little b is going to be blue eyes. There are no dominant alleles present, so the recessive shows through. So we have a brown-eyed individual and a blue-eyed individual that are going to be having babies. So we're going to put the data up at the top. We're going to split up these alleles. So we have a big b, big b, and over on the side we're going to have a little b, little b. Now, the way we do a Punnett square is you're just going to bring each letter down and fill in the boxes. Kind of like a times table when you did those when you were little. So we're going to take the big B down, big B down, big B down, big B down. Then you're going to bring the little letters across. You're going to have a little B, little B, little B, little B. All of these babies are going to be exactly the same. And if you remember from the last video I did, the word for when they're different like this is going to be heterozygous. So the genotypic ratio, we're going to look at just the letters. What kind of letters do we have here in this cross? All 100% are going to be big B, little b. So if they ask for genotypic ratio, say 100% big B, little b. Phenotypic ratio, we want what does it look like? Even though it has both letters present, because there is a big B there, the big B wins, because the big B is dominant. So you look back up here if you forgot, and we've got brown. So we're going to have 100% brown eyes. So that's one example of a Punnett square. Let's try a couple different ones with a couple different situations, just to make sure you guys know what you're doing. So here's our first one. Now let's try, same thing, eye color, but we're going to try a heterozygous individual now. So remember, hetero means different. So in a heterozygous individual, we are going to have a big B, little b. Now let's try another homozygous dot, recessive. Homozygous recessive is going to be the same. We're going to have little b, little b. So even though we've got one of each, heterozygous, it's going to be brown eyes because we've got a big dominant allele present. So brown eyes and blue eyes again. But let's see what we get for our babies this time. So we're going to take this one, put them up here, and our homozygous dom recessive, sorry, put it along the side. Now we're going to cross them out. So we have our big B, little b, little b, little b, big b, little b, and then little b, little b. Now we have two possible outcomes for this cross. Half the babies are going to be this, and half the babies are going to be this. We have half our babies are going to be heterozygous, and half our babies are going to be homozygous recessive. So our genotypic ratio is going to be one to one. For every one of these, you get one of these. So we're going to have a one to one ratio of big B, big B, to little b, little b. And now let's look at the phenotype. You've got big B, little b, that's going to be brown eyes because you have at least one capital letter present, one dominant allele. And you're going to have blue eyes over here. So you're going to have a one to one ratio, brown eyes to blue eyes. Hopefully that like makes a little bit of sense to you guys. We're going to do one last cross to show you that sometimes the genotypic ratios and phenotypic ratios can be different from each other. Now we're going to take two heterozygous individuals and cross them with each other. Remember, hetero means different. So we have big B, little b, times big B, little b. So we're going to take one parent, put it up here at the top, 
the other parent, put them along here on the sides. Now we're going to cross them out. Big V, Big V goes in this one. Always keep the dominant allele first in your Punnett square. Big B, little B, and last but not least, little B, little B. Now we've got something different going on here. We have one big B, big B. We have two little B, little Bs. Sorry, two big B, little Bs. And one little B, little B. So that's your genotypic ratio, one to two to one. Now phenotypic ratio is we only have two options. We've got brown eyes and we've got blue eyes. Three of these out of the four have at least one big B present. So that's going to be three brown eyes to one blue eyes. So genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio don't always have to be the same, and that's okay. But you need to be aware of that to make sure you get the question right on the test. So good luck studying, and happy biology.